What's going on guys? Welcome back to LFC Pro Fans and me, Calvin. I hope you're doing well. And today's video, I'm going to be giving my uh, pre-match thoughts to the West Brom game uh, tomorrow, which I'll be going to. Um, kicks off at half past five tomorrow. It's Liverpool v West Brom at Anfield. Uh, looking forward to this game. It's, I, I, I can just, I'll, I'll get straight into it. Uh, predicted team, uh, Carrius, back four. I'm going to go for Klein, uh, left back. It's got to be Mil Oh, well, I don't know. Is Milner still got a bit of injury? Uh, don't know if he'll play. Should be all right. But if he doesn't, it's got to be Moreno. But then what about Joe Gomez? That's the question I want to ask you guys. What You know, Joe Gomez has come back. But is it too early to rush him? He's just come back and tra to training after being about a year out, something like that. You know, really, it's a major serious injury. Uh, it's great time back because he's, 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 I do see him in Klopp's plans. I hope Klopp sees that as well. Um, but is it too early to, you know, punt straight the team? You know, I, I don't know. But I, whatever they say, if it's, it's I, you know, it's between those three. But centre backs, I go for Matip and Lovren, obvious choices. Uh, Sacco and uh, Dannings played for the under 23s, which I mentioned in my last video against Manchester United in a 1 1 draw. Uh, still not in Klopp's plans, which is annoying, but you know, I don't I don't know. Just just got. So, so that's the back four I'm going for Klein, Matip, Lovren, and it's any of those three. I can't pick for left back. I, I, can't, I don't really care. It's gonna be, as long as it's somebody at left back. I mean, we've got that problem at left back. Uh, Midfield. Obviously, four three three. I'm going to go for. I'm going to go for Hendo um, and Lalana, and then the next choice is going to be between Emre Chan and Wijnaldum. And I would easily say Wijnaldum, but you know, with Wijnaldum, he's just come back into the team. You know, he's come back from injuries, back in training. Is it too early to rush him? You know, he got injured on international duty. Um, he's such a a great, really good player, impactful player, uh, doing well, assisting goals and stuff so far this season. Um, but, you know, is it too early to bring him? We don't want to rush him. But I'd, I throw him straight back into the team. Um, so I'm going to put him in the team. Uh, so we've got Wijnaldum, um, Hendo and uh, Lalana, And then up front, up front three, um, obvious choice, Mane, Firmino and Coutinho. Um and that that's that's a really good choice, and you know storage on the bench, Origi on the bench, Grujic. I want to see him get a chance, put him on the bench. Um, so yeah, so we have Karius in goal. I I'm, I'm really you know our team looks good. I I can expect in a completely different game than we did against Manchester United at home last game. Uh, obviously it was a much tougher game. Um. Uh, Good to we didn't get just got didn't get the win, you know what I mean, get that goal, you know what I mean? But we play much better in the second half against United. Uh United were all all over us in the first half. We we turned it around second half, clock got the boys um, you know, heads around the uh, second half. Um I think it's gonna be a three 0 win. Uh, I'm gonna say a three 0 win, easy win. Uh Johnny Evans for West Brom um is out. Because uh, he's picked up five yellow cards now, so makes it easier for us. You know, defence weaker. Uh, you know, the player that's well, basically the only player I'm worried about for West Brom, uh, their danger man is uh, Chadley. He scored against his old club Spurs uh, in the last game. He's he scored a few goals in, during the season for West Brom, and you know, he, he he's he's going to be the one to watch, uh, watch it, look out for um, in tomorrow's game. He's, he's, I didn't know he was going to do this well. He, he did all right for Spurs during his time. He's an all right player. He's, you know, he's fits in, in better than the in Tony Pulis's Pius, um, team. The thing is with Tony Pulis, I find him a very awkward manager. Awkward, but I mean, when he managed Stoke and he brought Stoke to Anfield, Stoke was like a bogey team to us. We, we struggle against, them, especially away, but home. We we couldn't you know finish off the game. Uh, we managed just to get a one nil victory over them at Anfield. And you know he's that sort of manager. He's an all right manager. I don't particularly rate him that well. He's all right manager. He's he's doing a fifty fifty with West Brom. Um, but I honestly think um, 
you, you know, I, I think we're going to win 3 0. You know, I think we are 3 0. Just going to say it. Uh, just look out for Chadley um, for West Brom. It's the players, but defence is weak. Uh, we'll, we'll, we've, we've got this. Scorers. I can see Lalana scoring. I can see Coutinho scoring. Uh, just about the third one could be Firmino or Mane, something like that. But I can see a definite easy win. I'm going to say, I'm not, hopefully, I've not jinxed us, but hopefully a 3-0 no win. Um, so we, we've got this. Uh, just that's it, guys. But yeah, uh, I'm looking forward because it's my first time going back to Anfield. Uh, well, the first time at Anfield this season, I'm going to see the new main stand. So I'll be taking photos, you know, videos and stuff and, uh, uh, you know, some like that and match day experience, try and get some goals, if you know what I mean, into into it and uh, throw it on uh, YouTube. Anyway, hey guys, I hope you you enjoyed this video and uh, I shall see you guys next video. Come on, Reds.